Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. This is a uh, vlog. Vlog number, I think, four, but don't quote me on that. Um, so, there's a few things I want to mention in this video. Uh, bank pin, be right back. Alright, I need to change my bank pin anyway, but... There's a few things I want to mention in this video that may spark some interest. So... It definitely interests me, the things I'm going to be mentioning. Oh, excuse me, I just had lunch, so excuse my possible annoying sounds and such. Uh, I'm going to be doing myself vamps. Wow, is this 4D hide though? Hmm, okay. Vamps release amount of money lost, and it takes a little bit of time, so I can talk in kind of AFK. Ugh, excuse me, sorry. So, first of all, the vote is now live. You can now vote to see if you want your if the servers are coming back. Um, if you want to vote, vote. If you don't, then just don't vote. There's no no button. Okay, you just don't vote. Um, let me check the website right now because it's updating minutely. Right now it's um, noon on the 25th, on the 15th, I mean. So, this isn't a accurate, because there's a lot of people that are in school, but there's also a lot of people that have off, but there are a lot of people that are in school. They have 46,000 votes right now, and 193, if I refresh the page, it's at 46,218. So I'll check it at the end of this video to see how many votes they have, but they're um kind of close to um, getting their 50,000 uh, 50,000 would be, let me go back to their website, 50,000 would be the, the, its release for a $15 membership fee, uh, and then all that stuff, so, if you vote, you get a, uh, excuse me, a month free membership on the new servers, so that could be an incentive to vote, again, this is totally your option, and all that, so, Anyway, excuse me. So I want to talk about my topic now since I don't want this video to be uh, really long. Calling Jagex money whores, as the term is phrased. I apologize if that's a little bit, if that's offensive to anybody, but that's what people call them. Um, I'll call them money grabbers instead, so that's not as offensive. So, uh, alright. I want to see how I want to phrase this. I have some notes down, but I want to see how I want to phrase it. So, a lot of people, they say two things, but the first thing they say is, they make enough money on membership, why did they add this Wheel of Fortune in Solomons? Now, uh, please don't quote me on what I say, because it may not be exactly correct, but I'm pretty sure that they have a company that invested in them, and owns 51% of them. Uh, they're an investor company, so they are into finances. So they have the majority of the say when it comes to finances, at least. And again, don't quote me on everything I say because it may not be right. If you could please correct me in the comments, that would be awesome. If I'm wrong, uh, don't be don't be mean about your response. Just a uh, very generic. Hey, you got this wrong. Let me explain it. That'd be awesome. So people say they make money, enough money on membership. Why do they add all stuff? Well. If you go to a website called glassdoor.com, which I'm going to pull that up right now while I discuss this, glassdoor.com, okay, um, and then you go to like companies, the top, and search Jagex, you'll find their company. Their overall company rating with their, um, their, what do you call that, the employees. Rated a 2.6 out of 5. It's not a very good rating. Something like McDonald's has like a 4 or a 5. Okay. And it depends, depending on where the location is, it could be down to a 3. But it's never a 2.4. 2.4 is a terrible rating for a company. Terrible. Why did they get such a bad rating? Well, I'm not going to go through some of the reviews because they're very lengthy, and I really hope you guys check them out. 
since they're very informative and nice reviews to read. It's a good read. But, uh, why is it so low? Well, they fire, okay, well, at least what I've read, some of them, that they fire the good workers because they want a pay raise or something, and then they hire, like, for upper staff, they hire people that are friends and have no knowledge about how to manage something. They just hired them because they're friends of them and all of that. So, people don't rate their company very well. Now, what does that have to do with money? Well, it could, money could be because they're paying these people more since they're asking for more and they're good developers so they don't want to fire them. And some of the time they do fire them. And they've gotten into laws, Jax has gotten into lawsuits about different things. So that's money forked out. There's a lot of money going out that people don't think. People don't l aren't logical enough in life. They're like, well, they're making about $8. I don't think it's that much. I think it's like 7 I don't know. I have the gold membership, but I think it's like $7 a month for uh, 1 million account. No, there's not a million members, okay? At best, I think there's like 100,000 members, okay? So that's $800,000 a month. Yeah, that's a lot of money. No, it's not. Going into... Uh, yes, it is It is a lot of money, yes. Let me rephrase that. It's a lot of money, but their profit, I guess, could probably go down to a thousand a month. After they pay their workers, they pay the electricity bill, they pay for servers, they pay their uh, DNS, not DNS, their ISP's um, company. When they pay all this stuff off, their their profit goes down way low. If if they weren't making money, they wouldn't have a game, obviously, since that's the whole point of owning a game. And that's why they're trying to get these Shield and 7 servers back up, because they want more members. Why do they want more members? Because their profit margin is so low. But they're swimming in money! No, they're not. That brings me to the next thing, is that what people say is, they make enough money on membership, Squeal of Fortune, and Solomons. Why do they want to make payment for these servers? People are clueless. Why are they adding these servers? It's not to, oh, we're sorry for what we did, so we're going to add more servers. No, it's an, it's a money thing. They want money. And this is how they're going to get is People are going to sign up for a member, first of all, to sign the petition, and they're going to be a member when the Seals and 7 servers come out. Now, why is it $15 a month? Because they need to hire new people to host these ser to, to work on these servers. No, it's not going to be, just throw the server up there, okay, just let it run. No, you need people to work on it. Yes, you, there won't be any, correct, there won't be any updates. Well, but they need people to do maintenance, monitor the bots, uh, monitor high scores and stuff, and make sure stuff is in, like, all of these different things. Monitor bug abusers, just play it to Q QA testers. People don't understand the hassle that they have to go through to have these servers. That's why it's going to take them over like about one to two months after this petition if it's successful, which it will be because they're already at like almost 50,000. 50, they're at 47,000 already, and my video's not even done. So, in about seven minutes, they got a thousand more people. So, why do people complain about these servers and about money? Like, like, why? My question to you, and yes, you may not be clueless on this, but there's a lot of people that are. So my question to you is, if you're clueless on the matter of this, think. Or my statement to you, I guess. Think. Think about everything they have to pay for. Think about everything you have to pay for in your daily life. Yes, you may not have to pay bills, but think about what your parents pay for then in their daily life. What kind of bills do they pay? All right. Now multiply that to a multi-billion dollar company. It equates. Okay. They gotta pay more workers now instead of just paying a two person income or one person. They gotta pay a 35 person, more than that, but hypothetically a 35 person income. Alright, they gotta pay for, like all of, I don't know, it's hard to explain because I don't work for Jack X and I don't work for a big company. And I don't own a big company, but I know how this works because I've looked into making a company or thing, especially a gaming company, and it's so 
so expensive. So this video now is about 10 minutes and I think I've kind of ranted quite a while here. Actually, it wasn't much of a rant. It was kind of an, I think it was an informative rant. Um, I've got a lot more topics to talk about. I've actually got three more topics, which will be all next week, which are pretty exciting topics in my opinion. Uh, that's kind of all I want to talk about this, is that calling Jack's money horse. So, I can't stand people that do it, and I'm sorry for if I offended anybody, but that's the truth of it. They don't, they're not swimming in money. And by the way, if they're swimming in money, um, why are they adding these servers? They're not doing it because they like you. They're doing it for money. If they already have enough money, why are they doing these decisions? Think about that. You're wrong. They don't have a lot of money. They're doing these decisions because they want more money. They, not they want, they need more money to afford these things. Please think before you respond. Another, another thing I want to mention real quick is people are getting the misconception that you're going to have to pay extra money for membership if these new servers come out. Up to $15 if it's only 50,000 people. You're wrong. Read it. Read the post. Read the q and A. I I don't care what videos tell you. Read the post. Read the q and A. It's fifteen dollars extra, extra, if you want, want keyword there, want to pay that if you want to play, and no, you're wrong. If there's two hundred fifty thousand vote or five hundred thousand votes, you're wrong. It won't be free membership for everybody for anything. It's free membership for the two thousand seven servers if you already have a membership. If there's seven hundred fifty thousand votes. You'll be able to play the servers if you're free to play. But you don't get the member's content if you're free to play. Think. Read. Before you act. People don't pay attention before they have to say something. They just want to say it. Think about it. Okay? I've seen a lot of videos about this. Okay? I'm subscribed to a lot of channels. I've seen a lot of videos about this thing and everybody's going, Oh, vote, 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 vote. But have you have you thought of the negatives? Have you read the comments? People in the comments are saying that it's a a terrible or a, a perfect idea, blah blah blah, and you'll get free membership. You're wrong. You get free membership if you already have members. People are assuming that you'll get full free membership for both servers if you get if you get seven hundred fifty thousand votes or five hundred thousand apologies. That's wrong. Think about it. Think. In RuneScape, I've been... Well, aside from RuneScape, but kind of RuneScape-related, outside of RuneScape, I've been doing a lot of reading. I've been reading... Okay, I have the three books. Uh, Betrayal at Falador. Oh, I forget what they're called. Legacy of Cannabis? I'm not sure, but it's one about cannabis, one about some kind of blood, and one about Betrayal of Falador. I'm in the first book still, Betrayal of Falador. Uh, don't try to spoil it, because if you do, I would just uh, remove your comment. I'm trying to read the book fully, and trying to get, I'm trying to read all three books. So, hopefully they'll add another book to that series, because I love the first book. I'm only like 20 pages into it, I'm not really that far into it, but I love what I've been reading. Just 20 pages, love it. I'm gonna move my headset. But in RuneScape news, let me just mention this real quick. Uh, there's a new thing coming out uh, that's out right now. Is where are they at? Where to put them? Over here. They're called um, Valentine Hearts. And if I take all of them out, but one or whatever, uh, you could get emotes. You could buy these are tradable. You can get emotes. You can get a staff or a bow. You can get pendants for the experience, or you can get chocolates, which temporarily boosts. A skill, it's a random skill, it picks for you. I'm saving up for the two emotes. So, I think they're till like March 5th or something. So, I want to mention that. But let me interact with my pet, it's headbutt. I'm getting very close to the max pet here. Only 292 away, 
which if I pull up a calculator here, uh, that is 292 divided by 60. It's about five hours, but it won't be because when you talk to it's about four hours really, which is still good. Four hours, I can play four hours and get this thing to max. At max, it'll be able to pick up your charms for you and stuff. It's like a charm collector, which is amazing. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Which, the next video will either be about saying Jagex screws up and everything. Or, predictions of video games. Both very controversial topics. And, I'm a controversial thinker. Thank you guys so much for watching. The votes at the minute are at 48,000, exactly, well, not exactly, but 48,076, so it's very close to 50,000, we'll definitely hit that mark, we'll probably definitely hit the 250,000 mark, but we don't know, because I think there's only like 100,000 registered members, so either people are going to become members and do it, and pay the 6 $7 of the month to do it, or these servers won't really happen, because nobody's going to pay the $15 a month to play them. It's not worth it to them. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.